Welcome to the Nexus 2 help guide. In this session, we are going to be covering the workflow used to transfer your reference video from its capture location to the corresponding session folder. This tutorial will cover how to transfer your reference video using the file transfer window and the pipeline operation. Other session objectives include how to apply a codec to a video you have already transferred to your session folder, how to view and export a 3D overlay video, and lastly, how to export a 3D workspace video. Typically, the reference video data is captured to a solid state drive due to their faster read and write speeds when compared to a typical disk drive. Nexus writes the raw video files in the VVID format, which then requires the transfer operation in order to view the files outside of Nexus. We recommend that you always set the capture path to the root folder of the SSD drive so that Nexus can mirror the file structure of the database on the SSD drive. This tutorial starts with the assumption that you have already captured data which includes reference video. We can check to see if our raw video files exist by browsing to the capture path for each camera, which in this example are the D and G drives, and locating the VVID files with the corresponding trial names, indicating that indeed we have captured video data for these trials. In the upper right hand corner of the data management tab, you will find a button to show or hide the file transfer batch processing interface. Once the interface is shown, you must select the first button of the three, which is the file transfer interface, as indicated by your tooltip. This file transfer window will show all trials for which you have not yet transferred the reference video from the capture path to the corresponding session folder. It is important to note that even if you had two video cameras recording during the trial, there will only be one instance of that trial name in this list. When you transfer the trial, all video files associated with that trial will transfer to the session folder. You can select the individual trials you want to transfer or use the select options below. You can choose to compress your video by choosing a codec from the drop down list. This list will include all video codecs installed and available on your PC. You may want to compress your video if you want to reduce the file size, therefore reducing the space required on your hard drive to store the video files. After clicking Transfer Files to start the transfer, a yellow M under the Files header appears indicating that the video or movie file has been transferred to the current session folder. Now that the video has been transferred, we can view the video data within Nexus by looking in the camera view for each reference video camera. If we click the hyperlink from our data manager, we can see that the video has successfully transferred and is now in the session folder with the rest of our data. It is necessary to delete the raw video files after the transfer to free up space on the solid state drive and allow for video capture in subsequent sessions. When files are deleted via the file transfer window, they are permanently deleted, not just sent to the recycle bin. Not deleting raw files from the capture path can cause progressively slower boot times for Nexus because during booting, it verifies the presence of the raw files that are listed in the file transfer window. When you delete the selected files from the file transfer window, this deletes the raw video file from its original capture path and removes the entry from the file transfer window. You can complete the same video transfer operation using a pipeline. If you navigate to the Tools pane, Pipelines tab, and find the system header under Available Operations and double click on Transcode Video for Trial, to bring the operation into the current pipeline. The transcode video for trial pipeline operation will complete the video transfer through a pipeline instead of the file transfer window interface. Similar to the window interface, you have the option to compress your video files by choosing any of the codecs in the drop down list. If you run the pipeline operation to transfer your reference video, the file transfer window will still update indicating that the file has been transferred. 
The Apply Codec to Video Pipeline operation is used to apply a compression codec to video that has already been transferred to your session folder. In this example, I am first transferring my reference video files without any compression to my session folder and then deleting the original raw video from the capture path. Next, I will apply a codec to my video. You do not want to compress your video files multiple times or the quality will degrade very quickly. You can choose a codec, whether or not to keep a backup file, and to remove interlacing artifacts. If we navigate to our session folder, we can see the backup video file and our smaller compressed video file. To view the 3D overlay on your reference video, from each camera view, you can select View and then choose 3D Overlay. To export this 3D overlay video to be used outside of Nexus, you can use the Export 3D Overlay Video Pipeline operation found under the File Export header in the Pipelines tab. In the properties for this operation, you can choose from your saved view options, for example, I have a view option that turns off the floor grid. Once again, you can apply a compression to your video to reduce the file size, and lastly, you can select the first and last frame you want to export for your video. If we navigate to our session folder, we see a new video file with dot overlay appended to the name. We can also export our 3D workspace view to a video file. To do this, you can click on the icon highlighted here in red at the top of your 3D workspace. The resulting view is dependent on the current view of your 3D workspace. As you can see here, this file is appended with dot workspace. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about your hardware or software, please do not hesitate to contact us at support at